Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's review the Venturi tube. And the Venturi tube is used to measure the pressure at some point, and we do that by allowing air to flow through the tube. Now here, notice we have the pressure of the inlet air, and then we have the pressure in the narrow end of the tube, and we can compare the two using Bernoulli's equation, and also we're going to need the fluid flow equation to determine the velocity in the narrow part of the tube. So first, we know that the amount of volume of fluid, in this case it would be air, would be the same throughout the tube, so the product of the cross-sectional area times the velocity must equal the same anywhere along the tube. By using that equation, we, use, we can then calculate velocity 2 relative to velocity 1 by the ratios of those cross-sectional areas. Then we apply the Bernoulli's equation, and right away we realize that we can get rid of the uh, term that includes the height, since the height of the tube doesn't change, and so therefore we're left with the remainder of the equation. We could then solve that for P2 in terms of P1 or P1 in terms of P2. We're simply comparing the pressures at the two points right there. And so notice here that if we solve for P2, it has to be smaller than P1 because the term that we're subtracting that has a higher velocity because it's the narrow part of the tube will be bigger than the part that we're adding because it's a smaller, uh, it has a smaller velocity in the wider area of the tube. As you can see, that P2 in this case will be less than P1. If we were to measure the pressure at these two points, notice if we measure the pressure here, we can calculate the pressure there. If we measure the pressure here, we can calculate the pressure there. Typically, we measure the pressure at the narrow end of the tube to surmise the pressure at the entry point of the tube. And that is how it's done.